once you've been through the design process and you've created all your building and you have all the dimensions uh, all sorted, uh, you're now ready to start using Archicad. So what I want you to do now is you're going to go to Google, uh, you'll type in Waimea DVC, uh, and this will take you to our Waimea College DVC homepage. The next thing you'll do is you'll click on the 100 DVC tab. And if we scroll in here, it says Orthographic and Paraline Master. You'll click on this button. This takes you to my SharePoint page. You're going to, it won't you preview it, but you're going to hit download. So this file is going to have all the master information that you need. It's a reasonably sized file at 12 megs. Um, we'll go into Archicad, File, Open. And you look in your Downloads folder. 100 DVC externals PLN, open. Now this file here has the, the basics of what we need um, to get our orthographic and our paraline externals for level one. Uh, if we come to the first one here, so we'll see our, our, basic, our basic view, um, which is the plan view, um, our south elevation, east elevation, this is section AA from this view here. Uh, and then in paraline, we've got our southeast paraline, which just shows our drawing, um, our, a paraline of our house, then with the, with the roof removed. And again, from the northwest side, uh, with the roof and with the roof removed. And um, this is a very basic model, but it's enough to give you the gist of what we're going to be doing with this. Now, what you're going to do, you've now opened this. You can't just submit this works. This is my design you need to come you need to do the drawings for your own work what you're going to do is you're going to come over here in the project map you're going to go to ground floor now what you're going to do here is you'll select all of this information here and you'll delete it and it will say here deleting the source mark or delete this viewpoint unless you choose to keep as an independent viewpoint what you're going to do is we're going to go keep as independent cool um, so from here, we're now going to actually probably instead of doing that, if we went Control Z, it should be quite useful. If I hit Shift on the uh, on the section view and I'll leave that one in place, uh, I can then actually delete the rest. Now what I'm going to do is I'll create a real basic box just to show you the general gist of what we're going to do. So we're just going to create a little house here, some little walls. Uh, we're going to create a little roof. We're just going to go from the show layer, put that one there, and that roof is going to be too low, so we'll scroll across and we'll make that there to uh, 2450, enter. Uh, then we're going to add some windows, we're just going to use our default ones because they're fine. This is a terrible little design, but it'll hopefully show you what you need to know for this tutorial. And the window overhangs over the wall there, doesn't really matter. Uh, and then we'll do this one here, it opens outwards, which is again terrible for furniture. Uh, we're going to add a double bed. Cool, and there's a double bed in the middle of the room. So now that we've made this really basic house, um, the next thing we're going to do is we'll just, just, as, just to prove that it works, um, is you'll come back here into the, uh, the drawing. And it should take a few seconds. You see it updating. So it's now pop this the ground floor, this views and these views. You can see it's actually left my roof on, um, which you'd want to go back into the design and delete the roof off. Um, but that's going to be the basics of how you're going to create your own design. So if you wanted to go back and edit that again, just showing you one more time. So right click, open source view. And you can see I can see my little roof in there now, which we might go and we'll delete that. Uh, so if I now go across, just so you can see the updating happening, go back to orthographic, and then hopefully you'll see that roof disappearing up there. You can see actually my roof is still too high. So let's do one last modification here. Uh, open source view, click on the roof itself, and then go 
Ah, because it's on my roof plus one. I'm just going to put that at zero because it's on that second layer. Enter. And go back just to make sure it's all updated. Let's see the storm. And you can see my um, the views are all working. One thing you'll notice is that I left my section plane on here and it's also updated the section plane on the model. You're still going to want to go back and add dimensions and plenty of other details, but this is enough to get you started.